some of my current favorite plants just happen to be all the same species because look <laughs> yeah I know they're beautiful absolutely beautiful plants and a majority of my favorite plants that I do have now I did purchase them from the plant convention from plant con that was hosted in Dallas Texas the end of um, August and I'm obsessed I, they're just absolutely gorgeous you're gonna hear me say that a lot because I mean it's just the truth but um yeah so I'm just gonna talk about a few of them because I have over 27 different varieties of aglaonemas I'll do that for another day not now so I'm just gonna go over a few that really have my heart right now okay here's one I have this one is not from PlantCon however this one is from Ecuador and I purchased this last year I've been having her since wow yeah since september last year so i've had her for over a year when i purchased her from ecuador she was just a little baby i think like three or four leaves maybe four leaves and look at her now and she has two big pups on her too which i will be splitting up soon so i can give to my friends and she oh. <laughs> when i first purchased her i knew immediately even though I already knew, but I knew immediately that I was going to love her so much because of her oblong shaped leaves. So most of the aglaonemas, give or take, have more like slender like leaves. Um, and this one is just more, um, I don't know, that, that to me, they just look like more plump, more oblong. And I love that. And yeah, she does live in my Olaf um, trash can and she is in a pond like a setup and living her best life she has been in semi-hydro since um october actually october november last year so for almost a year because when i purchased her she came in sphagnum moss and i kept her in there for a few weeks or so and then i transferred her straight to semi-hydro and she loves it and she looks adorable there and she receives like most of my plants we're going to talk about um just big north facing window in my plant room and no supplemental lighting she's about um i don't know maybe seven feet away from the window and that's all the lighting she receives and she loves it and she's doing very good Okay, so yes, I do have some aglaonemas that are in soil. Here is my aglaonema rainbow. This is a recent purchase. This one is from PlantCon. This one is from Lupita's Planters, um, located in Dallas, Texas. If you haven't been there, you need to go. And also, too, a little side bit, that is where um, Richie, Steve, and myself will be um, hosting our podcast called Cultivation Corner. So go check it out. But yes, um, this is from Lupita's that I got from PlantCon. It's in a chunky soil mix. It has chunky perlite, um, the cocoa chips, and LECA. It's in the perfect potting mix, so I'm going to keep her in here for a while. And I love that it's in the plastic container. But anyways, just look at her foliage. And shout out to Daniel. He, um, he first had this plant. He had picked it up, and I was like, okay, I need this plant. Where did you get it from? And he showed me it and I'm very glad I purchased it because it's actually on its like third or fourth blooms. Um, it has two that are dying off, but she keeps, um, she keeps blooming and yeah. Okay. And over here is my beautiful Lotus Delight. So she did lose some leaves during the transition. And that's the thing with aglaonemas. Um, I could and probably will, whenever I do my aglaonema video, categorize them into more of your low maintenance, easy aglaonemas versus the ones not even necessarily with the higher variegation, but a lot of them do fall in that category and how they do need different care and needs. So anyways, with this Lotus Delight, she did lose some leaves during the transition from her, she was in sphagnum moss, um, from her sphagnum moss to pond. However, if you see here, she does have two new little cute babies and I'm just hoping with just some more um, TLC and just time that she will recover and then um, eventually start pushing out slightly bigger leaves so I am looking forward to that and this is one when I first saw her I was like this can't be real this looks like a painting this plant is absolutely stunning and beautiful so uh, I'm so glad I purchased her um, from PlantCon as well and uh, no no regrets <laughs> no regrets and I actually got a great deal on her she I purchased her for 40 bucks 
at PlantCon. And if you go online and look, especially like on Etsy or anywhere else, these plants are like um, a little bit pricey. And so I'm very pleased with that and I'm glad that I found her. Okay, now for this one. This is my beautiful orange Stardust Aglaonema. Just look. I always wanna call her Sherbert because I don't know, she looks like, um, it's like a soft salmon color, especially depending on how the light hits it. She's just, she's just so cute. I love her so much. So yeah, this is her. She is another one who did le uh, lose, I want to say two leaves or so during the transition, but she does have a new baby and I'm not worried. They're going to bounce back just fine. And also too, they do have healthy roots. So obviously that's always a good sign. So it's just going to take some more time. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this beautiful baby? My goodness. So this is the Aglaonema um, Tricolor Pink and another purchase from PlantCon. And this one, I believe I got for 30 bucks. Yes, 30 bucks. What? Yeah, I know. Look, look. Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning. And she, she actually did, um, she did good from her transfer from her sphagnum moss. Well, actually it was a transfer of sphagnum moss and then I put them in water with a little bit of Super Thrive, which was my first time using Super Thrive. Still don't know how I feel about it, but sphagnum moss to um, Super Thrive and then to her Pond Lekka mix and she's doing good. She actually didn't lose any leaves. However, you do see this one where it's starting to slowly yellow off, which I'm not worried about at all. Um, it is one of the bigger leaves, so it is an older leaf as well. So it's going to be okay. And her roots are nice and healthy. And she is in this, um, my little double plastic setup that I use for a lot of my semi hydros. I not only love the aesthetic, but as you see, this just comes up easily. So if I do want to go ahead and rinse the pond and Lekka, I can easily do it. And then obviously I can easily replace the water. So it's very simple, very easy. These containers, both of them are from the Dollar Tree, 125. And for the top one, I do use my soldering iron to um, put holes in it. And so a lot of my, um, like I just said, semi-hydro setups are like this. And yeah, I love it. But yeah, she's doing really good. So no complaints over here. Okay, and last but certainly not least, because I could um, talk here for hours about Aglaonemas, my Aglaonema Pride of Sumatra. Thank you, Richie, again for telling me about this plant. This is another plant con plant. I was at plant con all day. I was about to leave and Richie's like, hey, did you see this aglaonema? I was like, no. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. He's like, no, you gotta look at it. I looked at it and I bought it and here we are. We're in love. I love her so much. And she had, whenever I purchased her, she had two babies. I gave one, be one, I gave one baby to Steve from I Lift Plants. And then this little baby is going to Richie. Um, I'm one of, make sure um, we'll wait and let her get a little bit more mature and t before I separate her from mama but yeah l j I'm not gonna even say anything about her she's stunning drop dead gorgeous like look at this plant So as you can see, this is where most of my well, newer aglaonemas that I did purchase. So this is where most of my aglaonema um, recent purchases are hanging on these walls. I mean, hanging on these shelves that I had a, oh, a very hard time putting up, but it's okay. They're up and they look good. And so, like I said before, these aren't all my aglaonema babies. I do have a lot more, but these are definitely some, especially in the recent months that have just oh, taken a hold of my heart because these plants are stunning and they're constant reminders in why I collect plants and why it makes me happy. Even just repotting plants make me happy, cleaning the leaves and obviously especially just seeing the plants grow and mature into, you know, mature specimens like it's it's a beautiful thing and it makes me very happy so let me know in the comments do you like aglaonemas how many do you have and are you having any issues with them